Hey everyone, uh, we're going to briefly discuss how to utilize the, the wiring section um, of our Lighting Boss 2.0 app. So I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to find uh, my wiring folder, and I'm going to, I like to color code my wiring runs. So I've got a few different colors to choose from. So on either my desktop or my laptop, what I do is I just click on it, click on the color I want, and then I click on the screen where I want it to start. So let's just say my transformer is over here and I'm gonna run this line across. I'm just gonna go in the general uh, vicinity of my fixture and I wanna go like this. So I hit it once and then it continues on. Hit it once and it continues on. If I want that wire to stop, I simply hit twice. Now it's done, okay? So I'm going to run now a green wire to the two fixtures on the other side. So coming from the same transformer, I'm going to follow a similar path, but take it all the way over, then bring it to this one, and then I'm going to hit twice. And now I'm done. So if I want to delete that wire, I just click on it and then go to the trash can. Now in the... Um, Tablet, when you utilize this on a tablet or an iPad, I don't believe that you quick click on the, uh, the product. I'm, I think that you actually drag the product out and then utilize the same strategy as just click, click, click. And then when you're done, double click. All right. So I'm not the biggest fan. I, I really like um, doing using this for a true as built so I can. I can tell my crew exactly where I want them to install the wire. Um, and then my service text down the road where the wire is. But I don't love showing the wiring in the face on view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save this. I probably should have deleted but I, I, the wire, but I'll go ahead and, and go back in and delete the wire in just a minute. So I'm going to go into the satellite view. The satellite view, I feel like the top-down view gives you a, a better understanding of where the wiring is actually going to go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and use those same colors. We said our transformer was over here. And now this is just how I'd run my wiring before. So there's my red path. And my green path was very, very similar. Just went straight across. And again, I mentioned, this is important because remember I mentioned that what I can do is I can put the, the spotlights back into this image. But because they end up in a proposal whenever I use them, in this image, I am going to hit the hide button. I can get a better look actually of the fixture if I go into night mode. I can actually see where it is. And remember, I had a couple of Alico uh, path lights, I think. Delete those. Again, you guys may never utilize this, this portion. But there's there's going to be a ton of stuff in here that you guys don't utilize, but you need to know that it's there and need to know how to navigate it. So again, I'm just quote unquote hiding these. I can still see a faint outline of them. But tell, tell that they're there. But they're just not ending up in the proposal and charging our client twice for it. So that's how you utilize the uh, the wiring pathways. Remember, this doesn't this this doesn't know how far you're taking it. This doesn't actually calculate a wire distance at all. It's just to give uh, the team a general idea of, of the paths that you want it to follow. Um, or maybe somebody on your team is doing this after the fact. The installers are, are actually doing the wiring diagram after the fact. So that's fine. It doesn't have to be done before. It can be done after. But do it because wiring is the one thing that you can't see. So if wiring gets buried, you can't see it. I highly recommend that you map all of your uh, wiring for ease of service later on down the road.